Hi and welcome to the Tandon Q&A hotspot. I'm here with Simon Longstaff. Now Simon, you've just conducted a, a session at the PRINS 2015 conference here in Wellington about ethics. So my question to you is, as a PR consultant, when I'm approached by a new client, what consideration should I go through to make a decision about whether it's ethical? Well, I think this, you start off with, do you know your own ethical framework for your particular organisation? And if you don't, then that's an initial problem. But if you do, let's assume that, one of the things you should be looking to see is whether or not that of your client is at least congruent. It doesn't have to be the same, but at least it has to be congruent, which means you need to have a conversation with them about their own purpose, their own values and principles, then based on that make an assessment, which is prior to the particular assignment they might be giving to you. And so one of the things that you mentioned before is that, is that clients don't always share all the information. So how much effort do I need to put into that in order to, to say, yes, I've been ethical? Well, well, the first phase, as I say, is to get enough information about their own purpose, values and principles. There's no reason why they shouldn't share that. Once you then decide that you cross that threshold and you're now looking at a particular assignment, then you want them to be able to brief you as well as they can so that you can actually discharge your obligation. In a sense, that is serving their interests to be able to do that. If you feel that you're being drawn into something where you have suspicions that it may not be what it seems, in other words, if the ethical smell test starts to be alerted, then you should have a further conversation. If they are unwilling to engage, then that might be the point where you decide that this is not an assignment for you. And finally, do you, in, in your experience, see PR companies turn down clients because of ethical considerations? I occasionally do. Sometimes it's because within their portfolio of other clients, there's somebody whose interests will simply not be aligned with those of this new person who may take offence. So for example, I've seen in a case where somebody might have been acting for a health fund and then a tobacco company is approached and whatever they thought about tobacco intrinsically, it's been the issue of the conflict with the rest of their portfolio. But sometimes it's just the issue itself. They say, that's not the kind of people we are, it's not the kind of work we want to do, and they say no. Simon Longstar, thank you very much. Pleasure, Bruce.